Hi guys, I'm Michael, London Viewpoints on Instagram and in this video you're gonna learn five tips from me how to get the best photos of the shard lights. It's Christmas time and the Shard is lighting up for London in a spectacular way again this year. Tip number one, to get the best results use a tripod. For phones you can use these tiny little tripods. You will get a clean and sharp result this way instead of getting a shaky photo. That is always a great start. Tip number two, use a self timer. Many cameras and phones nowadays have the option for you to delay the photo being taken. This makes sure that any shake introduced by pressing the camera or the phone gets delayed and by the time the photo gets taken, the whole setup of your camera and the tripod is perfectly still. Tip number three, plan your composition and your angle in advance. The shard is there every day, the lights will be on for a month. So have a walk around, see where you want to set up before you set up. Have something interesting in the foreground, like an iconic landmark like Tower Bridge for example. London phone booth or a red post box can serve as a beautiful foreground to your composition. Also, take in mind any traffic that's passing along the way, because when you're compositing a long exposure shot, that can add a lot of dynamic to the composition. Tip number four, make a long exposure photo. You got your camera or your phone on a tripod, you set up the self timer. Now it's time to actually set ISO at the lowest possible level, being 100 on most cameras. Set your aperture in something around f8 or f9. And then if your camera is in, for example, mode A, which is aperture priority, it will adjust the time that it will take the shutter on your camera to about 10-15 seconds depending on the light and then it will take a beautiful long exposure photo. If it's the phone you're shooting on, try one of the apps like the Average Cam Pro, which is only 99p. The app blends multiple photos to create the long exposure look. I've done it myself and I've seen many of my friends come up with some beautiful results just with their phones as well. And lastly, tip number five, share and be social. Share your best photos with your friends and your followers on social networks. Learn from the feedback provided. Get inspired by others who post the photos with similar hashtags. Submit your photos to online competitions like the Shard Lights competition. Join photo walks and photography communities that focus on nighttime photography. Uh, that's the best way to make new friends, similar like-minded people, as well as just improve your skills. Thanks a lot for watching, I'm Michael, London Viewpoints on Instagram and I hope these tips will make you take better photos of the shard lights and now I will take some too.